Types of relations including functions. When discussing the types of relations and functions, we're generally talking about rules where we have y equals um, some function of x or x squared or so on. So we're generally dealing with uh, x values and y values. A one-to-one -one relationship uh, basically says that for every x value in our rule, this will generate exactly one y value. And if we know the y value, every y value comes from exactly one x value. Or in other words, uh, one x value uh, is related or corresponds, corresponds to exactly one y value. Uh, the first one being the x and the second one being the y. Now virtually every um, straight line of the form y equals mx plus c will be a 1 to 1. Um, however there's two very special um, straight lines which aren't. If the straight line is directly vertical which is of course uh, x equals to say 3 then it's not or if we have a, another line which is exactly horizontal then that's not one to one either but virtually every sloped uh, straight line will be a one to one relationship a one to many relationship exists if for any given value of x it can generate uh, more than um, one y value. So if one value of x can generate uh, two or more y values then we have a one to many relationship. So how does a relationship generate multiple y values for x? Uh, let's say we have the rule that y is equal to the plus or minus square root of x. Then let's say that x is equal to 4. Well that must mean that y is equal to the plus or minus square root of 4 which is 2. So y is equal to plus 2 or y is equal to minus 2. So here we have that one value of x which is 4 generates two values of y. It can either be plus 2 or minus 2. And so here we have a 1 to many one value of x creates many values of y. Now most of the graphs we've seen so far in mathematics, whether they be linear, uh, parabolas, cubics and so on, are not one to many. Uh, the one to many relationships are generally going to be relationships that reverse the order of x and y. So for example we could have that x is equal to y squared. That is a graph which looks very similar uh, to that graph that's displayed just here. We might also have a cubic such as um, x is equal to y cubed plus 3y squared minus 4y plus 6 uh, which if we graphed that it may look something um, like this and once again we're going to have a 1 um, a single x value here uh, can in fact give us 1, 2, 3 y values so this is a 1 to many. A many to one relationship exists where um, two or more uh, x values um, will generate or create exactly the same y value. So that's many x values um, generate one y value. Now many of the graphs that we've seen so far, um, for example, especially the, the quadratics and the quartics and so on, are examples of many to one relationships. Uh, let's have a look at the graph of y equals to x squared. 
Now, in this graph, um, let's say that x is equal to 2, um, then we're going to get y equals to 4. Now, let's also say that x is equal to minus 2. That also gives us y equals to 4. So if we were to have a look at this graph here, where we've got y equal to 4, if we were to come across here, uh, this x value here, which is 2, uh, generates y equal to 4. And we also have uh, this gen x value here, negative 2. So we have the situation where negative 2 and positive 2 both generate exactly the same y value. So uh, we have a many to 1 because uh, many x's uh, generate a 1 y value. A many to many uh, relationship occurs where we have the situation where many x values can generate uh, an exact or a single y value, but also where we have um, a single x value can, genera can generate uh, multiple y values. And the most uh, common form of these is circles. Uh, if we have a look at a circle like this, this single x value here um, has two corresponding y values, so the y will either be um, this value here or here. And same with this particular uh, y value here, if we have a look at this y value, we generate uh, two x values can come from that. So definitions aside, how do we actually tell what a graph is? How do we determine whether a graph is one to one, many to one, or many to many, or what? Um, the way to do that is to have a look at the x values and the y values independently. Uh, for this graph here, um, at top left, let's have a look. For every x value, it doesn't matter where we go to on the graph, every x value only gives us exactly one y value. And also, every y value will also only give us exactly one x value. So this one here is an example of a one to one graph. So let's move to top right and have a look at this uh, graph here. Um, once again, let's have a look at the x values. So for this x value here, if I have a look at the corresponding y value, this x value only gives me one y value. So one x value generates one y value. However, if I have a look at this y value here, I can get to this y value from two separate x values. This x value here um, generates that y value, and this value here generates that y value. So I have many x's generating one y value. So I have a situation where this is a graph which is a many to one. So let's now look at this graph here at bottom right. Um, again, let's have a look at uh, what happens when we examine an individual x value. So there's a single x value, and we'll notice immediately that a single x value corresponds to um, multiple y values. So one x value is actually generating um, multiple y values. If we were to look at the corresponding y values, um, each y value will only ever be generated from a single x uh, value. So in this case, we have a graph which is um, one x value can generate uh, many y values. And lastly, let's look at uh, bottom left down here. Um, let's have a look at our x values, and let's have a look at the x values here. Uh, this x value will actually generate one, two, three separate y values. So one x value is generating three y values. Uh, but if I look also at the y values, this particular y value here is corresponds to one, two, three x values. So three x values will also give me one y value. So this is an example of a many-to-many -many graph. So just let's, let's look at that again. Let's draw a vertical line. Now a vertical line represents a single x value. If it crosses the graph at multiple points in time, then a single x value, so 1x, 
is generating, uh, in this case, is two Ys. So in this case, we have a one too many. So to check out if we have one too many, um, one X value, we draw a vertical line, one X value, if it crosses multiple times, one too many. Then the next thing we need to do is we need to draw a horizontal line. So that is a single Y value. That's the line Y equals something or other, whatever it is. It might be 5 or 10. So a single Y value, if that crosses the graph um, multiple times, like it does here, here we have two X values um, corresponding to a single Y value. So in this case, we have a many to one relationship. And lastly, if we have the situation where a vertical line, um, which is a single X value, generates multiple Y values, and also the horizontal line also crosses multiple cases, then this is clearly a case of many to many uh, relationship. And lastly, we come to the definition of a function. A function is a special class of relation which is either one-to-one -one or many-to-one. Um, there were four classes, one-to-one, one-to-many, many-to-one, many-to-many. Functions are only those relations which are either one-to-one -one or many-to-one. And as I've written here, functions pass the vertical line test. A function, it doesn't matter whether it's something like that or like this, a function is only a function if you can draw vertical lines that only ever pass through the function once. So every one of these vertical lines, doesn't matter where I draw the vertical line, they will only pass through the function once and once only. So, for example, uh, the shape, the relation which I've shown you there, which is a one too many, um, it's not a function. First of all, because, as we say up here, it must be one to one or many to one. And secondly, it's not a function because it fails the vertical line test. Here I draw a vertical line. It passes through the graph twice, which is more than once, so therefore it is not a function.